Welcome back, Clay Chaffle. This is Christina Jimenez, and I'm proud to present you our YouTube edition of Keeping Up with Clay Chaffle. For our first segment, we're going to have the food guessing challenge, where we have students trying to guess what they're eating. Oh, what is this? Put your hand out. Put your hand out. Who is wet? It's a honey bun. Browser. <laughs> okay. Your thing. Okay, it's breakable, so it's not elastic. So it means it's real food. Oh, this is more definitely a honey bun. Mm -hmm. You want to give me the rest of that? Hey, I wish I was here. It's an Oreo. I was an Oreo. Where the food at, man? Ooh, is it wet, man? <laughs> Come close. No. Right? No one. Ah. <laughs> I don't want to do what it is. <laughs> Next. <laughs> olives? Ah. You know what that was? No, what is that? It's an olive. Oh, uh, I don't like olives. Uh, <laughs> Nobody likes olives. Sour cream line. Biscuits are not good. Don't eat them. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Is this from hot chocolate? Coffee? Yeah. It's coffee. It's, it's coffee. <laughs> what is this? Is this coffee? <laughs> yeah. Next, we have teachers recreating the most iconic vines on the internet. It is Wednesday, my dudes. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Kung fu fighting. Hi, my name is Trey. I have a basketball game tomorrow. Well, I'm a point guard. I got a shoe game. And Hi, what's up? My name's Trey. I got a basketball game tomorrow. I'm a point guard. I got a shoe game. And they were roommates. Oh my god, they were roommates. And they were roommates. And they were roommates. Hi, welcome to Chili's. Hi, welcome to Chili's. When there's too much drama at school, all you gotta do is Walk away! <laughs> when you got too much drama going on at school, all you gotta do is walk away! Yay! Yay! I think I, I, think I know more about American yeah. girls than you do. You never go to any American girls' study. I think I, I think I know more about American girl dolls than you do, genius. <laughs> Road work ahead. Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. 
road work ahead. Uh, yeah, I hope it does. Tardies? Oh, 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 kill him, oh, kill him, oh, yeah. oh, 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 kill him, oh, kill him, oh. Yeah. Well, First Priority is a group that we're going to be starting here at uh, Clay Chapel. It's a non-denominational Christian group where we get together uh, once a week. Uh, it'll be on Tuesdays, and we talk about um, things that are going on in teenagers' lives. We're going to have a time of prayer uh, and a time of Bible study and just fellowship and encouragement with one another. I'm Mr. Hickman. I teach 11th grade American History and 11th grade AP American History. Uh, here at uh, Clay Chalkwell. First Priority is a great um, group. It's, I think it's going to be very valuable here at school. It's an opportunity for students to come together uh, and just learn more about God and share uh, experiences that they're having and help each other get through difficulties. It's a chance to kind of open up your Bibles here at school in a non-threatening way and just get a word. Sometimes it'll be from a teacher, it might be from uh, students who'll share words, and I really like it when students give testimonies and, and can share a word because that really impacts other students when you hear it from one of your peers. And then oftentimes we'll have a youth pastor from a local church come uh, and share a word as well. So it's just a great way on Tuesdays uh, to start your day off focusing on God and kind of getting your mind right and, and just be a, a a source of light uh, in, uh, in your day uh, while you're trying to go through school and all the difficulties that you face. It's a chance to kind of focus on the positive things and, and be encouraged by others around you and by God's Word. Are you interested in First Priority? Next Wednesday, September 26th, they'll be hosting See You at the Pole, where students come together and pray. This event will take place before school at 720 out here in the amphitheater. Come check it out. In honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, here's a quick look at what happens inside of Quinceañera. So a quinceañera is a very old tradition with, um, I want to say, Hispanic cultures. And so with it, it basically says that a 15-year-old girl is becoming a woman. She's going into womanhood. And it's just a very nice party. And it's very cultural, very traditional. And usually we go through a church ceremony at first. And it's just very beautiful, very classy, very elegant. And then we go into parties. So my favorite part of my kids together was probably the father and daughter dance, which is very emotional to me just because I have a very close connection with my dad. And it's just a nice moment, like my dad knowing that I'm growing up and becoming a young adult. So there is a court for Yikitsingera, which is concludes of damas and, damas and chambananes. And damas are the girls, and then chambananes are the boys. Now featuring a new club at our school called Video Game Club. Let's see what it's all about. Hey, Vsauce. Michael here. Oh, wait, wrong show. <laughs> Hello, Clay Chalkville. Over the last 60 years, there's been a new technology going all around the globe. Something that is immersive, meaningful, impactful. A technology. Starting with the very first video game in 1958 to the first video game console in 1972, video games have managed to end up in over half of all American homes. If you're interested, maybe you like video games, in which case, you're in luck. There is a video game club in this very school hosted by Mr. Christopher Pegg, located in room 105 on the East Hall. I was interested about it. So, I walked over there myself, asked him and some of his members a couple questions. Here's what I got.
Yeah, so growing up I always loved video games and I think that it's one thing that my students and I have in common is that we both really enjoy getting together and playing video games. Uh, certain party games like Nintendo 64's Mario Kart have just always been great four player games that inspire a lot of laughs, inspire a lot of talking with people, um, and just a lot of fun in general. So I just kind of wanted to bring that into the classroom. I thought it was a good chance for our students to get to know each other. It's just like a place for us to be ourselves around yeah. other, I like around other enthusiasts. I like the people, you know, you can say some memes and they'll be like, hey, memes. <laughs> So yeah, so I think a lot of our kids like have been playing a lot of Super Smash Brothers on the Wii today, especially um, racing games, those Mario fighting games, um, and sports games. A ton of sports games. Kids love to play 2K and Madden. Um, we got NFL Blitz going. But uh, it helps you with uh, team-based skills. Uh, uh, Knowing your surroundings, and listening out for other enemies that you can't see really, and that's basically it, I guess. I think there's, there's logic to every game, so you're always building processes, you're always building, you know, step one leads to step two, leads to victory. It's, I mean, it's puzzles, it's the same as, I, I, you know, I'd say that it's really similar to you know, what chess was for people 100 and 200 years ago. Now we have Fortnite and Mortal Kombat, you know. Well, I like to say uh, puzzle games, they help me get in my mindset sometimes, because like, um, let's say I want to solve a problem or whatever. Every Tuesday, if you want to bring your console, you can bring controllers and any multiplayer games that you can play with, like, local. Next, we have some of our CCN TV members pranking some of the students here at Clay Chapel. So I need to tell you something. Um, seriously, uh, my boss is here today, and this is Mr. Jackson. He works at the board, so he kind of knows what's going on too. When we purchased a lot of the equipment in here, and I just told Mr. Left, and she's kind of bummed, and I'm sorry, guys, but when we purchased some of this equipment, we, my fault, not y'all's, I went about it the wrong way, so they're fixing to come in and take all of our stuff. I'm sorry, what? All of our stuff. Like computers, the computers and stuff? Everything. So we're not going to be able to have the class anymore. We're going to have to figure out how we're going to move y'all around. So y'all are doing <laughs> Wait, hold on. Do you think that's funny, Brian? <laughs> and all that. So I'm, I'm sorry, guys. It was my fault. And uh, I got to figure out a way to fix it. So, but for the time being, we're going to have to move y'all around. Okay. And y'all just got to play. And that concludes our episode of Keeping Up with the Chapel. Subscribe down below.